This is a square drive style hydraulic wrench with a concentric drive and reaction arm. Inside the unibody housing is the hydraulic piston. The two supply hoses connect to a 360 by 180 degree swivel that allows the wrench to fit into tight places and keeps the fittings and hoses from being damaged. There are two hoses because the piston is driven forward and then returned by alternating hydraulic pressure as the pump shifts the direction of the flow. The spline square drive fits into standard impact sockets so that changing sizes is quick and easy. Tools are available in many sizes and power ranges. The power output of each tool is adjusted by regulating the pressure on the pump. Most hydraulic wrenches, including those from high torque, are numbered indicating their maximum torque capacity in thousands of foot-pounds. For example, a high torque Avanti 3 has a maximum torque output of approximately 3,000 foot-pounds at the maximum pump pressure of 10,000 psi, while an Avanti 5 will produce about 5,000 foot-pounds at that same 10,000 psi pressure. The Avanti 3 has a 1-inch square drive, while the Avanti 5 has an inch and a half drive in order to handle the higher torque values that wrench produces. Each wrench is designed so that it will not break its own drive. This is the reaction arm, which blocks against the solid surface to keep the wrench from rotating as the socket turns. Unlike older models which reacted off the back of the cylinder, this new generation reacts concentric with the drive. Torsion is not passed through the tool, avoiding wear and friction. The arm can be moved relative to the tool to allow access in tight corners for both tightening and loosening. And most importantly, the reaction is always maintained in the same plane as the nut, minimizing side loading and improving operator safety. On either side is a small lever, which is used to disengage the ratchet and release the wrench should the tool be put in a bind. The direction of the wrench, whether to tighten or loosen, is determined by which side of the tool the drive and socket are on. You will note that the drive is offset from the plane of the piston. If we look down on top of the socket, as the piston travels forward, the drive will be turned in a clockwise direction, tightening the nut. If we want to loosen a nut, depress the drive retainer button and remove the drive from the wrench. Place it in the opposite side, making sure to align the splines and secure it with the retainer. Now when we look down on the socket, as the piston travels forward, the socket will be driven counterclockwise, unscrewing the nut. The direction of the wrench, tighten or loosen, is marked on the side of the tool and is read on the side opposite the socket. Readjust the reaction arm as needed blocking usually against an adjacent nut, keeping the tool safely out of the way. Once the drive is in the correct orientation, reposition the safety handle before proceeding. 